Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Combat Mission Shock Force 2 Demo yeah, It's a demo but uh, it still has a plenty of content that I like to showcase still um, There are I think around 5 or 6 battles Including the tutorial mission which is probably you know by the numbers type of deal But uh, the first uh, battle that I tried, the uh, beach landings or day at the beach it was pretty fun. It was uh, using the USMC to land some amphibious forces, um, while the you know first landing party tried to hold on to the the beachhead. It was pretty fun, and uh, yeah, so I like to try harder mission. And from the last uh, episode, I tried to tinker with some of the graphical settings. Um, I think I just turned off this VSync type thing, vertical synchronization. I think that's why it is, right? Be sync. It might make the game a bit more stuttering, stuttery, but I think it overall increases the the performance, the speed, and this is what I really need, especially with the battle that I'm going to be in. Um, you'll soon see why. And I did. I don't think I changed the quality in terms of model and texture. Yeah, so it's going to be a pretty good looking game. It might run a bit faster, which is going to be pretty good. And maybe I just turn on the music as well because it's a bit too quiet. Yeah, this is better. Okay, so let's go into the battle. And this is what I tried. And the next map or next battle I'm going to try here is something called the Breaking the Bank. It's an urban mission, as you can see. And. This is something that I really didn't, you know, play a lot of in the first combat game, combat mission game. So naturally, I'm drawn to it, and I think this demo has a pretty good selection of um, material to showcase. So the first one was obviously the Amphibian's Landing, which is also the first for the series, and these probably are also similar in terms of the features that it wants to, you know, show off. But I like to try this. It's a bit longer than the first mission. For the first battle, and we are playing as a British, I think, British NATO forces attacking a city. So let's go. Yeah, assaulting map. So I'm going to try. Well, I mean, I could probably um, kind of cheat and select this first and see uh, how much how much differences there are. But I'm just going to go more or less blind and see if I can be successful once again. Real time. Yep. And veteran is, I think veteran seems to be a pretty good balance between. Um, maybe I should try warrior. Maybe I should tr try warrior because I tried veteran in the first battle. Yeah, maybe I should try warrior and see what's so different about it. Maybe I'm gonna get get creamed, but I don't know. It's just for fun. So, right. So to get you into the mood, the same kind of very hard driving metal. Music. I don't know whether this is a f freely available music or not. Anyways, I think that's um, I don't know whether that's a British or American infantry fighting vehicle. I think it's British, since we are pretty playing as a British side. So I guess they want to show me what I'm going to be expecting. Yeah, so it loads the game. Um, I mean, it's pretty slow, but after this, it's not going to really see a lot of loading. Uh, it's pretty funny that in the first combat mission games, you actually get to read the mission description first before loading the map. But here it is just starting out here. Um, Alright. So I think we are at Damascus now. As you can see, we are... Uh, yeah, basically fighting in control of section of the capital. Very interesting. Um, Alright, so situation. We are located in northwestern Damascus and 400 meters south of the battalion staging area, Al Bahia Stadium. The main push through the city is happening towards south along 17th and April Street. The AO is entirely urban, and primary residential apartments and business suit. Immediately to the front is El or Suzy Park. Behind the park are four buildings that dominate the area and are the objectives of today's attack. Objective Animus, Central Bank of Syria, Objective Fendel, Operations Building for the Bank, Objective Azal, a Financial Ministry Site, and 
Objective Morbius, the Bulgarian Embassy. Forecast for the attack, clear skies or temperatures with light winds to the west. Mission, the most southern assault force is waiting for the seizure of your objectives before heading south. Once the bank and surrounding area are cleared, forces from a staging area behind us will move through us and proceed south. Twenty forces, Alma Company and attached assault pioneer platoon, three Yorks, one TP Challengers, I guess tank platoon or something. For fire support, you will have organic mortars. All right. And an AS-90 section from 4RHA available, some kind of artillery. Aviation support is delayed due to heavy AA activity. It will arrive when the airspace becomes less contested. The drive through Syria and the slog into Damascus has taken a toll on every unit, particularly during the last few days of heavy combat. Attrition has reduced people's strength to approximately 75%. The personnel casualties were replaced this morning with troops from the battalion in reserve. Ammunition levels are well below standard, although the vehicles still have some extra stashed away. Most of your forces is immediately available. One platoon from Alma Company is clearing a local counterattack up north and expected in about 25 minutes. Alright. Now uh, here's the map. This is where we start. So we are situated in the north of the area and need to advance south and capture all this. Four objectives, I think. Yeah, here as you can see. Um, and we have mortar and howitzer and support and also some helicopter expected to arrive in 30 to 40 minutes and once and underground we will expect reinforcement in around 20 to 25 minutes and the mission objectives are all this so they want you to limit planetary casualties to less than 20 percent yeah, and limit collateral damage. I think the civilians are also a factor here. Okay. Yeah, so this is going to be a bit more involved. And yeah, okay, cool. This is what was making the amount of noise. Um, the tank, and you get out of the. Yeah, so you can definitely hear the tank. That thing is over. Seeing, overwatching this area, this section of the road. So, I guess we can assume that this road here is clear. And that's not all. We have a whole load of guys here. Um, yeah, I mean, I think definitely more involved than the last battle. And it's kind of weird how the sound cuts in and out. I think that is from the tank and also other vehicles. Alright, so let's go through some of these. IFVs, nice, and you can see the ammo here. Yeah, and it has all these features. Interesting, I don't know what these mean, but can I click on it? Nope. Um, yeah, so this is a pretty good support vehicle, and this tank also is looking down the road here. So most likely these are all safe. Check around that our forces can travel with relative safety although I mean I need to watch out of course in the flanks and whatnot and this is our, these are the APCs uh, carriers and carry up to around 10 troops and here as well yeah the tanks have surprisingly the tanks have um, yeah, they said as much in the mission briefings that the tanks are low in ammo, so you can see it only has like 10 of these 120 millimeter shells and 26 some I don't know some kind of a different uh, different shell. I'm not so sure exactly what it means. APF SDS. Wow. All right, so I need to set these whole vehicles up, and I think if you look at the map here. Um, yeah, it's, um, I mean, here are the objectives, so I guess I need to move through here and then try to take the road to the right. And, yeah, I mean, here it opens up to this park, which is open space, basically, as you can see, a lot of benches. A lot of benches, in fact. And there has been some battles, as you can see, by the pop marks and, uh, yeah, craters. And the vehicles damaged, 
all non-usable and one of the vehicles on our side has been destroyed infantry command vehicle so yeah has been some urban battle going on and uh, i guess yeah we need to split up our forces and one travel through this road the other one as i mentioned on this road to this area and the rest i think might be just holding the fort here in the middle trying to see what is going on in this big building which is the bank building here yeah the whole side that is exposed to us and i think this might have a commanding view of the area so i mean any of the vehicles that might be turning a corner here might um might come under attack from some kind of anti-tank weapons a pretty big boulevard so there's a lot of you know nukes and crannies where the enemy can hide and a lot of similar looking apartment buildings around four stories okay so i guess in this view is going to be easier to organize yeah some of the troops are inside the building ones um to start with okay so yeah i probably have to organize these forces and then come back okay so uh, yeah so this is what i had in mind as far as the initial setup is concerned um i think i should move these guys first here instead of trying to move them yeah so the infantry is on the on the side of the this boulevard that we want to travel, um, and I think some of them could be in the APC. At least a few of them can be here embarking on the APC and can travel down as these guys are trying to move on foot and try to provide any information, really any information on the puzzle defenders as they travel toward this intersection. Uh, I mean, which is rather open and kind of worrying in terms of how many of the nukes and crevices that the enemy can hide in, I guess, in ambush. Yeah. So for this street, I have set up some uh, watch stations or something in order to kind of cover for us in our approach to our first intersection here yeah kind of worrying because this is where the broken down IFB that has been targeted and destroyed lies so I mean there could have been some anti-tank element that shot it to pieces and I don't know why these guys are out in the balcony I try to give them an order to I mean I guess you don't really have any choice in terms of putting them here. Yeah, I mean I just can't give them order to change any change level, but they always want to come out onto the balcony and make themselves a bit more, a lot more um, exposed. These guys are not really using it, so that's good. They have chosen the right side, it seems, but um, I think they can still. Yeah, they can also see what is going on. So even though they are like positioned all up here against this in this wall, but I think they're still able to see what is going on down there. The tank is going to make a bit of movement. Um, oops. The tank is going to make a bit of move, supported by these guys, and we'll see what happens. And there's some APCs following us from behind, and this is our deployment zone, so no enemy. Here in the middle, uh, we are using the tank in order to see what is going on here in the bank. Yeah, which is the only... Uh, it's like a dominates the cityscape, so they might be able to see what is going on pretty well, so... I mean, they might be hidden, but we are printing us a few observers here in order to track the enemy movement, if there's any. And this tank is now going to be followed up by some of the observational 
observation unit. Um, this is like a crown on it. I guess this is a air control party HQ. Um, I guess it kind of works similar to the first combat mission games as far as you know giving them control of other units and uh, providing them with support or leadership. But I don't see any red lines going to you know units it may um, control or provide leadership. So I don't know exactly how it really works. Yeah. So. This is another. Yeah, I mean, these are the British guys, and this is the big Challenger tank. Um, yeah, it looks to be a pretty capable tank. Too bad about the ammo count, though. It seems a bit um, less than what I expected to have. Still, plenty of heavy machine gun and some even heavier machine gun. I think 50 cal, but. These guys may be a bit more nice depleted in terms of ammo count. Yeah, these guys have all these different uh, new technologically advanced systems here, smoke and other cool stuff. Alright, so uh, these guys are all moving, I think, in order to watch, provide watch over here. And some of them are, yeah ready to provide some artillery if possible if need be in order to strike this area in the park okay so on the right side yeah i mean we're probably doing a similar thing that i'm going i'm doing on the left side uh, put some infantry here to watch over this intersection and there's some sniper guys and some apcs with troops followed by the Alma Company HQ. I could probably place them a bit closer. And this is also real time, so let's see uh, what response that we're going to draw from the defenders, if any. Yeah, now these guys are moving, um, turned around quickly. You can probably see the entirety of the map here, it's not that big. The game's kind of chugging, but I think it's better than the last time. Yeah, they're making their way, and how about here on this other side? They're not making any movement. Alright, so... Okay... Right. So these guys have not really seen any enemy movement. They can see it until the end of this fork in the road. So I think we'll be more or less set, but the problem, of course, lies in these um, spaces between the buildings where some of the defenders could be residing, uh, waiting, waiting whether we move here in the open space before striking. So I guess I need to provide some support, um, possible. So let's bring this guy here and then try to face it toward this area before moving our troops and uh, I think these guys yeah these guys on the ground so I think these guys could make a bit more movement here I guess then face so we have mortar crew in the APC and observation guys yeah on the other one Okay. So this guy could also move up a bit. You hear some gunfire in the background, but doesn't really have any bearing on what is happening here. Um, okay, so I guess I could move these guys also. The sniper guys. Sniper team is looking over this area. Yeah, there's one objective there in the distance. Okay, here. Um, don't see anybody. These guys are watching over here. Okay. 
So I guess these guys could do the similar thing that I did on the right side and then just move up and watch out this space while the infantry is going to try and move. Yeah, these guys will try to move to the other side of the road if possible. Um, or behind this vehicle that is. And then move here. Yeah, first guys will move that way and then second guys will follow up. I wonder if this has to be this deliberately uh, complicated. Like trip level type of stuff. Um, this guy... Move up within the building, I think. That would be nice. Uh, and see what they can find. Um, yeah. Okay, so... You can see these guys are moving. Bit of a bottleneck here. Um, but they're all moving. The rightful place. Yeah. The middle. Um, no reaction from the Syrians. Yeah, they probably will have to watch out though. Snipers here in the roof. And the right side, we are also moving. Um, these guys are probably watching over this area to stop no line of sight okay so I need to probably uh, tweak this a bit okay yeah it's a bit of a mess okay so here we are just looking them down the road here. Okay. So these guys and... Yeah, there's nobody watching on this particular road, I think. These guys are watching it, but... Not really... Yes, it's adequate. But I wait until this guy is in position and other vehicle is in position before I move the infantry. Yeah, so one guy will try to cover this side while the other one will go up a bit more. Okay, so they're having a bit of trouble navigating around each other okay so this guy is not moving at all okay so let's make them face this area first oops okay how about now all right they're bumping into the building and everything and they're facing and they can Move up a bit. Did they see somebody or? No. Alright, so what is going on? It's a bit of congestion going on. Alright, so let's move, move you up a bit more. And followed up by the infantry. It's going to probably move. Uh, maybe I should move them a bit quick, quickly. Does it work? Did it work? Um, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty... I guess they make their way without being shot. So it's all good. So what is happening over here? Okay. So move up a bit here. It's 
bit of mess. There's a sniper guys, I'm not seeing anybody yet. Great. And how about you guys make the, make your way once again? Yeah, so they'll be advancing a bit toward the park. And here they made their way, that's good. To Sama bin Zaid Street. Okay, close call. Alright, so should I move up a bit once again? In hunt mode? Or should I just allow the other vehicle to move up? Kind of hard to see. Um, there's some trees I think nearby. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. These guys are still keeping watch, and so is these guys. They could probably move to a different apartment or something. But not before we uh, make sure that uh, we are well on the road, you know, taking the road down, the, down to the intersection. Okay. So vehicles are moving bit by bit. Okay. All right. So the vehicles now looking down the road, and will be covered more or less and his tank is looking here um, and all these different places um, yeah I think our infantry might be able to advance to here just just make it a bit quickly closing the distance to the intersection and this guy could probably also get out Occupy some different building. We just yeah stand here. Okay, so on the left side we are all set. On the middle we are moving a bit, I think, using this uh, these guys. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't think. Uh, I guess they are making their way. To the second floor, so we'll see what happens. It could be a bit more discreet though, so um, I just give them an uh, order to slowly advance. Uh, I think I just give them an order to hide right now. Yeah, because I think they're getting a bit away from the main force. These guys will Okay and what is this? Javelin anti tank. They could probably Yeah, advance a bit further. And here, it's uh, getting a bit interesting. Um, so this guy is watching over this space and this guy will I think advance a bit, just try to hunt because this guy will be able to look down the road here, that's good. Uh, followed, flanked by these guys and other vehicles. These two guys will also advance a bit down the road, good. And these two guys will advance here. These two guys. Alright, so that's pretty tidy. Let's see what happens. Okay. 
No enemies popping up. We quite so far. Yeah, we're still moving, and this guy could also move a bit further up. And this guy could move here and then face down the road, just in case something happens. This guy already made it. Wow, that's good. So just continue your trek. Keep moving. Yeah, so these, these guys also moving. I might have to check on them. Yeah, so this IFV is turning around, covering for the infantry, just moving up. This guy is setting up the border or something. Okay, so now um, this HQ doesn't see the three Yorks each platoon. So I think I separated them by mistake. Okay. It's too bad. This guy's hiding. The sniper really doesn't see anybody yet. Alright, how about here? Yeah, we are making our way pretty quickly. So let's move up once again. Okay, who is this guys? Oh, they're coming down. Yeah, prepare to move. And it seems like they're not moving, like I said in combat mission one, uh, where, you know, if I give them an instruction to move to a different floor, they just go straight up while moving their legs. But this time, we don't see the stairs, but at least, you know, it seems like they're using the stairs to go down. Um, so it's more realistic. Okay, so. Yeah, the tanks are really loud. These guys are, yeah, lurching. I give order for these guys to also move. I don't think they're uh, that tired yet. And these guys will take motion near the trees. And how about, yeah, these guys are already moving. So it's kind of weird um, how the buildings are all set up. Some of them have their corners right up against another building so as to um, kind of block our way, block our path. Okay, so this guy made it all the way into the first floor. They don't see anybody. Interesting. Yeah, we might have to really uh, be prepared for any kind of current attack because I guess the Syrians are also moving. They're, you cannot really rule that out. Okay, right. So there's another crevice here, uh, open space. Yeah, this could be a pretty interesting area. Sorry. Um, just go up a level here and then try to fly over here. Okay, so it's a pretty good looking map, although the other buildings are making things rather difficult. Okay, so here I want to face this direction, um, although it's going to be blocked by a wall. Um, so around here, perhaps. And then the infantry might be able to go around it or something. Yeah, so you might be able to go here first and then... Oops. Yeah. Here and then maybe move. Okay. I think now this guy could 
face this side and start moving. Sniper. Yeah, let's move these guys up also. This guy now, because the vehicle is now watching over this road, they can come down and join the rest. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty complicated. I don't know how all of this will work. Okay, a bit bumpy. The road is a bit bumpy. And now we turn. They turn pretty fast. And let's check out their sighting. Yeah, they can target here. That's good. You can see this open area. Yeah, okay. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, so finally found some guys here. I don't know exactly who, but... We're shooting at them. Oh my goodness, what happened? Did he get hit? Oh my goodness, I think it was an anti-tank uh, anti weapon. Wow. Um, okay, now, what can I do? Should I... Uh, yeah, so he's hitting this side, so he's seeing something, but I don't really see anything up onto the building indicating that... Um, I hope that it's not really mistaking the civilians for the defenders. I guess I can give order for these guys to enter the building here. And just... And see if they can support this IFB. Probably assault this area or move quickly. Or they can move slow. I don't know what's the appropriate command here in this case. Can probably move slow first and then see. Yeah. Um, I don't really see any tracers from the Syrians. Oh, okay, so we are shooting heavy weapons. Yeah, I think we are... Wow, it's explosions. Is it IADs or something? Oh, now we find out that there might be some guys. Alright, okay, so some excitement on the right side. How about on the left? How about on the left? Oh, okay, so it's not really that much going on. Some of the guys are still making their way. Yeah, these guys have come down from the building interesting looking uniforms yeah they seem to be packing pretty light and this guy is looking into the this building I don't know what, it, what they're looking at okay, a bit of voyeur action on the left side but nevertheless I will um, use the IB to advance a bit further. Followed up by the infantry. Uh, I don't know where they are, but yeah, they're somewhere. Here. There's still plenty of time. Only five minutes or so. Not even five minutes have passed, so. Still plenty of time. I just want to see what becomes of the situation here. Oh, nobody. Oh, now they're moving. Yeah, these guys are moving away. Oh, okay, I find these guys right now. And it's kind of under heavy fire, and you can also identify that there are some guys hidden here. And, oh, okay, so you can see the injuries happening. Okay, so they're hiding there, which means that they were uh, trying to target us if we took this road or if the infantry decided to move along the buildings they could have ambushed us um, it's interesting to say the least okay now this guy is probably safe to travel 
down here. The sniper also could come down. And these guys, I think they are on the balcony, right? Oh no, I think they are, yeah, they come down from the balcony. They could also move alongside this side of the road. I think they were caught unawares or something. I'm not so sure. Now my guys are making its way. Yeah, I think he's using the 7.62 millimeter gun. So there's some guys over here. Okay. Oh, what is happening? Oh, okay. So infantry now shooting, engage in the fight, and the Syrians also fighting, firing back. I think we got hurt, perhaps. All right. So we can see the red. Um, I think mostly ours, but I think we are getting shot, and I think we eliminated the last of the remnants here. Um, there's some guys on the top too, as you can see, there's some guys on the top. Yeah, we are not wasting any time wasting them under they were under the suppression from the IFV. We don't see them anymore, but there could be more. So So these guys made its way and got one flank kind of solid for us to travel. We don't really need to even uh, go to the intersection to you know, face a prospect of more Syrians. You can probably move along this courtyard. Yeah, I don't know what they said, but yeah. So we don't we don't even have to um, go to the intersection here. I can just probably cut our way through here, and then try to see if we can uh, attack them or at least get this area under our watch. We can try that. Yeah, there's always the save. And I think if, in order to do that, we need to this time um, try to smoke our way. So we have few soldiers uh, that I made that I instructed to yeah come here, and then instead of moving to the intersection, they could probably uh, line up here and then try to assault this area under smoke. Now, smoke is going to be provided by this guy um, if they can yeah pop smoke here and also it's going to be under watch from these guys I think it was a bit of a yeah definitely lucky that I was able to suspect there would be some guys here and then um, decided to provide some support What will the tank do? I'm not so sure. Um, the tank, I think, is able to provide some heavy fire support. They don't even have to like move until the rest of the road is clear. You can just see everything that is happening down the road there. So yeah, this is the first group, and there's a second group that might be coming. There's a sniper. These guys will continue their way here. Okay, so here, um, don't really see any enemies. I mean, I could probably provide some rear guard support as we move up. Yeah, these guys will all move up, and there's still some guys, yeah, moving around. So, need to be careful. Wondering whether I can uh, get a sniper, guys. These guys up on the roof. Maybe I will try to do that when I um, near the intersection. All right. I hope that I'm not moving the camera too much. Uh, certainly required a lot of, um, yeah, a lot of 
A little fine adjustment. Uh, okay. I think they have arrived here, everybody. Okay, so let's move up till we reach the intersection. I think we are kind of covered until yeah, this wide open expanse. Um, then we're going to have to worry about it. Um, not that far. Just not move that far yet. Yeah, so this guy is able to get all this. Might want to take over this building and try to extend our range a bit, or even this building. Um, yeah. Okay, so these guys are coming up there, so these guys could not travel that far, but stay here. These guys could um, turn around and stay near the IFV. The rest is going to move down the road. Yeah. Okay, and this is still watch over the middle part. Alright, so tank is not able to identify whoever might be in the central bank building, although I'm sure that there are some guys hiding. Um, these guys are hiding right now. And the sniper is not able to identify... Yeah, they're able to look at the rooftops though, so... Could move them a bit closer, but yeah, I think there will be a bit too much risk. Alright, so let's see what is happening. Here moving. Getting in position. Both left and right side. Yeah, moving pretty slowly. I uh, don't really see any activity from the Syrian side. Yeah, but I'm sure that there are some guys here. So I need to be mindful of that. And these guys... Yep. Eliminate a bunch of Syrians on the second floor. I think these guys are making their way, yeah. Okay. The left side... Yeah, still making our way. Let's get close. It's a building. Okay, so this guy is made into a wall. Okay, Let's see if I can get inside the building and see if I can identify anybody. Nope. Just the same floor, same pattern. Maybe I should try to now pop a smoke. Right there. And then see if I can advance toward this building. Which is going to not only cover this area, but here as well. Pretty useful, I think. Uh, I think it's worth a try. Yeah, I don't know where it landed, but sure. Okay, alright, now for these guys, let's try to click to the, yeah, click to that area and then, okay, so quickly go here, go here and, 
Um, first floor. Slowly, I guess. On top of smoke. Don't puff smoke yet, let's just see what happens. Yeah, okay. So it's under the cover of the IFV. These guys are making its way. Um, yeah, so the smoke is making and creating some kind of a cover at least, and then. It's a bit of a rough area, rough surface, so they're having a bit of trouble navigating this. And now, give them a fast movement toward here and slowly enter the building. So I'm gonna try that. First floor. Yeah, so they're like going around the wall and coming back. Uh, I don't know what they're trying to do, but um, sure. Yeah, so they can probably see inside the building now. Get the smoke traveling through the road here. That's pretty cool. Um, okay, so should I try to? Um, yeah, barely able to squeeze these guys through down the road, but I think I need to move now, more or less. Okay. Are we, are we being shot? No. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We are in trouble. We are in serious trouble. I think. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah, both this area and this area. We are being shot at like... Nobody's business. Maybe you should call down the... Oh, how did this guy make it down uh, the road? Oh my goodness. So I think I need to move these guys too. Um, and bring other AFVs. IFVs, sorry. Quickly. Right, quickly move these guys down here and then support any infantry that we might still have after the latest engagement but that was pretty crazy and these guys um, I could split up the troops but since this seems to be rather um, yeah I mean they're not really that active anymore so I try to move quickly here first I don't know what this not assault but move quickly here and then try to slowly enter I think it's slow, right? Yeah, I'm sure this is slow, but let's just make sure that I know what I'm doing. Alright, I think we are kind of getting upper hand here. Um, oh, wow. Goodness gracious, they're just... Just getting all the anti-tank weapons and everything. Yeah, so they are like occupied almost all the building. And now they're wasting their anti-tank weapons. Before um, I try to stop, I try to... Um, there yeah, look at the entrenchment. The red, it means that they're really entrenched. Yeah, in a bit of trouble, I can see. Uh, they're in not really a good way. But surprisingly, really happy that they're able to pull even. And then fight on equal terms here. I just want to get these guys... Just going. I, I think this might just fail and blow up right in my face. But 
Yeah, area target. I guess I could try to area target these guys, but um, let's see what the IFB is able to do. Yeah, they, they know exactly where they're uh, shooting at, I think. Uh, I might get shot though. Yeah, if you uh, move a bit closer. Um, right. Yeah, well, first casualty, unfortunately. But I think that's something that I have to live with. Uh, I don't really see any um, movement from this side. And I have moved all my troops inside this particular building. Yeah, they're able to look out here. So, might be tempted to move this guy. Right, uh, I think I'm just taking too much focus away from the other, other side. Let's see what is going to happen. Are they able to what? Okay. Yeah, second casualty. Are they shooting from? Yeah, they're probably sh shooting from there and also from here. Oh yeah, yeah, the tank is able to shoot. Okay, so another casualty, unfortunately. Now you can see the Syrians moving around inside the building. Let's bring them a bit closer. Um, not really, not really looking down the road per se, but yeah, let's get it a bit closer. So while it's not able to expose itself down the road where the anti-tank weapon might be around. I think I was able to negotiate this particular intersection with... I mean, there's three casualties, right? Oh, okay, only one casualty. Well, I think there was three casualties and uh, one was able to get treated pretty quickly, so that's good. Yeah, so some crazy action going on here. I don't know whether I can call it crazy, but... Yeah, so there's some remnant here still um, waiting to be waiting to be shot at. Yeah, so this guy could just not worry about it so so much. Okay, so that was the right side. Now um, just try to clean up a bit. Oh boy. Okay, so that was pretty intense. There's some still some shots going on. Um, but I try to um, kind of organize everybody here so that we'll be ready. Yeah. Okay, now where is this? Is this still on the right side? Um, I think it could be. Yeah. Alright. Okay, now I think it's a bit from afar. Um, I don't know exactly where he's shooting at. But that doesn't sound like uh, one of our guys. Yeah, I think he could be from the middle. Yeah, 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 okay. Where are we being hit at? Oh, okay. Oh, wow, look at that. Jesus. Oh, the sniper guys. Okay, now you can probably come down, right? Or... Right, okay. Alright, this time I will try to call on the Howitzer. Um, I think area target might be better here. 
No line of sight. Okay, how about on this side? How about... No, no, can't do it. Um, I think sniper is there to watch over this. Okay, now you can probably do it. Uh, but it's a bit too wide, I think. Um, let's go back. How about border? Can I... Um, I think Harvester is probably better because it is a building. And... Okay, I think maybe... It's heavy. Probably medium and... General. Immediate. Confirm. You can see the flag probably is... Uh, yeah, flag is aiming at the sniper. And you can see the building now under fire. I think they got the go ahead to shoot. I think this guy, yeah, I think this guy has done his job. I think it's probably better to just scram. Is this guy hurt? I think this guy's hurt. Yeah, I think this guy's hurt. Uh, but doesn't say it's a casualty, but... Uh, yeah. Okay, well, um, okay, finally this guy moves. Oh, good job. I think it was just shocked or something. Um, I wonder if this is still on though. Oh wow, so you get to identify a lot more guys here. Um, I think they were looking at... They're looking to uh, target the sniper more than anything. Okay, now uh, I'm able to see here. Okay, good. Okay, now what? So this is the problem. Right? This... Okay. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay, so they have not entered the building yet, but they're able to um yeah i think they'll probably need to do it because now this area is covered so i don't see anybody here um right now but we have uh still some guys to cover uh, this area so we'll make a slow entrance into this building I think it was you, yeah, and here as well at the same time. And see if I can draw some fire and uh, these guys are, these guys should be ready to support at a moment's notice. Yeah, oh my goodness. And these guys may be um, going to follow up the rest of the group. Yeah, now these guys are prepared to enter and see what's up on the other side of the road. Okay. They don't see anybody, it seems. Not yet, I guess. Okay. Yeah, they can see here. Alright, so they can see everything. I think it's good, good enough. And is the artery still on? I'm not so sure. Oh yeah, it is still on. Spotter is down there, but yeah, I think we are still receiving the orders and then going to um, strike the target soon. Now these guys are still in the building, right? Yeah. Okay, so what can I do for these guys? Um, I can... I think they're on the ground floor. Let's see where they are. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're in the yeah, balcony, okay. Um, 
can come out here and then travel down this road because it's supported by um, yeah so they can come down here and then follow up let's see what happens okay so here um, we have to see pretty much all this area so maybe I could get these guys to capture this building but I think for this to work probably need to smoke so I'll try to um, get this guy here first Smoke this area. Um, no, let's do that first. Smoke, and I get these guys to they need to probably move pretty quickly. So quick and quick. Slowly enter here in the building. Yeah, and oh, oh, okay. What is this now? Somebody's hitting somebody. Um. Uh oh I think in this side definitely this side who is it what the oh it's here oh okay I see oh okay wow Hello, out. are we okay though um yeah I think we are mostly fine Okay, I mean, I think we got the go ahead from the artillery. And where was this guy? Um, I think this guy could move up and then try to attack or even. Um, I think I need to use this map a bit more. Yeah, this. Um, although everything's kind of murky, but might be able to do it. Not hide, sorry. Um, Hunt and face here, and these guys will sit up here. Oh well, I don't know where they are right now. Okay, where are they? Did they move back into the building? I'm sure that... Oh, these guys are all here. Okay, so most of them I have made, made it back. Um, okay, so... All eight of them. They're moving through the building. Okay, so let's just get out on this side then. And follow the lead. I think um, it's just overlooking the park, so it could be pretty useful in uh, protecting our flank. That is. And these guys have made, made their way here already, so that's good. Pretty cool that if you're out um, in the you know, this zoomed out view of the map, you can actually hear the turbulence of the air. Another really nice detail that this game has. Okay. Yeah, now this guy has not made its way. How about on the right side? What is happening? Sorry if this is a bit jittery. Okay, so um, we are now getting close to the objective here. 
So let's see if we can push a bit forward using the tank that is. Yeah, and then I think we'll be able to kind of have a watch over the rest of the road while the soldiers and other units will try to make their way. Some of them at least. Um, these guys are... Yeah, some of them have retreated. Can probably move um, quickly. Here. And then slowly enter this building. Okay, now it is, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think it was IED. Um, okay, so I don't think I can, yeah, I may have to reload this. Let's just see if, yeah, oh, okay, so some kind of uh, attack happening. Uh, I think it was my artillery, I'm not so sure. Oh no, actually, yeah, this is um, some kind of uh, uh, anti-tank. Yeah, so these guys are being hit from this side. Let's see if I can add more just to see whether I can support the guys over here. Or whether I'd be sus sus subject to even more attack yeah I think so oh okay so this is a um, no it's a tank oh, okay I see I didn't see the tank over there ah yeah okay yeah so they have a main battle tank, so this is going to be pretty fun. Uh, in the next uh, next episode, I try to destroy this tank that is waiting for us, uh, <laughs> um, and then I was able to destroy one of the MBTs. Um, yeah, this is now being hit, and we are like getting hit from everywhere. Not a really good showing, but I probably reload from the last uh, last save and then continue on. Yeah, this guy is like so panicking. They're just going everywhere. And I think the Syrians are knowing that we are being pushed around. And he's adding to the uh, adding to the attack. Yeah, same here. We are being hit from uh, their MPTs and everything. Okay, so just for fun, let's just uh, engage them. Oh wow, we are being hit like crazily. What is that? Can I hit it? Oh, okay, I destroyed it. At least. Oh, there's a tank here. Ah, oh, okay, I see. Wow, amazing. Oh, it's pretty cool. Nice. I threw the grenade. Yeah, okay. Oh, alright. See you next episode.